popular way of editing websites is to use Contribute. It used to be made by Macromedia. It's now owned by Adobe and the current version is Contribute CS4. This is an older version um, on a PC that we're looking at here. And the interface on a PC and a Mac is going to be pretty much identical. Uh, the only thing that will change is obviously what version you're using. And if you're using a Mac, it will have a contribute menu at the top there rather than a file menu. Um, to get started, I'm going to assume that you've already got a copy of contribute and somebody has created, whether that's you or a designer, a website for you and you're now going to use uh, Contribute to make a connection so you can edit your pages and the content on your site. To get started you've got several ways of doing it. You can either use the Create Connection icon, you can use the text link here on the home page or you can go up to the Edit menu on a Mac that's under the Contribute menu and My Connections and you can click Create a connection from there. I'm going to close that. We're going to go to the uh, create connection link here and it will take us through exactly the same process. The first thing it's going to ask us is have we been sent a connection key? If your designer has sent you one of these it will be in the form of an attachment sent by email probably and you would have hopefully been given a password separately which you will use to use it, you literally double click the connection key attachment, it launches Contribute, you put the password in, and all of the settings are hopefully in place, giving you the ability to edit and access whatever pages have been determined by the connection key. We're going to set up a manual connection, and to do that, we're going to click the Next button. It's going to ask us the address of our website. We are going to use FTP to connect, so put in the name of the FTP server and then you put in your username. This would have been again supplied to you by the web designer or probably the hosting company at the time of buying your web hosting package and finally need your password. Once you've put all of those details in it's going to test the connection and configure the settings, making sure that your version of Contribute is connecting correctly to your web host. That'll take a moment. The speed of that last part will depend largely on your internet connection, um, so it's just a question of being patient really. Once it's actually validated the connection, it's going to ask you for your name, because if there is more than one person using uh, Contribute to edit web pages, you want to know who's actually making the changes to the website, and this is how you can tell. So you put your name and the email address in there and after that it verifies everything has been done correctly and that's all done. It then checks to see if there are any templates that have been used by the designer and updates those, connect, um, it checks them against the server, make sure that they're all current and uh, takes you directly to the starting page of your site. If you want to edit pages you come up here to the edit page button and what that will do is it will create a draft copy of the page for you to get started on and once you've actually got that draft page it turns from being a browser into a kind of a, a word processor and the options up here again may vary depending on what has been set up in the connection key you may not have any styles or the ability to edit text um, fonts rather, you may literally just have the ability to type onto the page and publish or even send it to somebody else for review. All of that 
is the subject of another um, tutorial, so we're going to leave it there.